On August 15, 2012, the Bruderhof community in Rifton, New York, was honored to welcome a good friend, Cardinal Timothy Dolan. During a luncheon and communal gathering, the discussion centered on the importance of encouraging each other, nurturing children, being joyful Christians, standing in solidarity, and working together. And you all give me such credibility because the, one of the, one of the uh, tools that our enemies have is to reduce things to a Catholic issue. Yeah. Whether it be pro-life, whether it be pro-marriage, whether it be defense of religious so, freedom, yeah. they will say it's those damn Catholics trying to impose their views on everybody. It's a human and, issue. They, and when, you, when, when they'll say, uh, well, I'll show you some people that aren't Catholics that believe even more passionately than we do, you know, that's a powerful yeah. thing. It was a survival of mankind. Sure it is. When you stick together. Yeah. yeah. It, these, are, these, are his, these are issues of natural law and, and human reason. And, and that is why there's this beauty in welcoming children ah, yeah. in the name of Jesus. Yes. Because they are that bring us the love of Jesus and, you the, and, are right. and the hope of Jesus. You are right. So, Brother Timothy, if, if you could say a little blessing for our beloved uh, Asia, what's her second name? Maria, Maria uh, Swinger. You bet. Yeah, you bet. Be Instead of Asia, can I call her Ireland? <laughs> well, dear Asia, we thank God for you. Every baby is your sign that you want life to go on. Every baby is an affirmation that life is good. And when we look at a baby, we cannot help but be filled with hope and promise, dear God, which you always want for us. So we thank you for Asia. We ask you to bless her and her beloved parents. May we continue to cherish her and love her through Christ our Lord. Amen. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen. Now it would mean a lot to us, uh, uh, Brother Timothy, if you could have a few words for our community, what you feel is important to us Christians here in this country in a time of real confusion where the witness of Jesus really needs to be proclaimed like never before and how we can do that together. You bet, Pastor Arnold, and, and your, your uh, beloved wife and Art and my brothers and sisters all in Christ, thank you. Thank you for your, your gracious welcome. Thank you for your ever warm hospitality. I feel very much at home here. I hope it's evident. Uh, you make me feel at home. And I love you all very much. And I deeply appreciate the support, the prayer, and the encouragement that, that you give. Those of us who are a little older rejoice in this day because it wasn't long ago that even within the Christian family, we were at odds and we didn't savor one another's company, and we didn't work together, and we spent more time criticizing one another than in working together. And thanks be to the grace and mercy of Jesus, uh, those days are mostly behind us. There's still a lot of work to do. And that's crystallized here when you welcome me here, as you have in the past, and as please God, you will very often uh, in the future. I Just a couple things. First of all, we need to stay together more than ever. Because our enemies do, don't they? Our enemies are united. Satan, Satan is a tremendously effective general. Uh, Satan is one of the shrewdest leaders ever. And Satan is extraordinarily powerful. There's only one more powerful and effective than him, and that's Jesus. And unless the followers of Jesus stay together, we're going to go down together. Because Satan has organized our enemies uh, so we, we need to stay together. Pope John Paul II had that beautiful word, solidarity, remember? He made it a household word, solidarity. solidarity. We're it. together. We're not in this alone. And so we need one another. And that's the first thing I would thank you for and encourage you to, the solidarity that we need. Number two, everybody, believe it or not, we welcome opposition. And the more that people harass us, the more that people ridicule us, the more that people disdain us, 
The more that people attack us, the more we say we're on the right track. Because Jesus said, um, woe to you when people speak well of you. Blessed are you when they persecute you because they did that to the prophets. And I don't know about you, but I take a deep breath every morning I open up the newspaper because I know odds are there's going to be an attack in there, okay? Will that get us down? Does it make us angry? Does it make us bitter? No. We smile and we ask God for grace and strength because we know that's a vindication that we're on the right track. And number three, everybody, let's be people of joy. The world paints us as crabs. The world paints us as mean-spirited. The world paints us as bigots. The world paints us as, as, as people of prejudice and hate and violence. We know better. We look at what is best in the human person. We look at what raises people up. When, when, when we look at human life, when we look at creation, when we look at society and culture, we say yes, not no, because we love life and we love everything that's decent and good and virtuous in life. So we can't allow them to caricature us as mean, negative uh, crabs. We're people of joy and hope. We're people of joy and hope. And eventually, people will say, I want to be happy too. So my brothers and sisters here in the Bruderhof community, we have to be people of joy. We, we got we to gotta break their caricature. And we have to say, you want to have fun? You come to the Bruderhof. You want to have a good time? You come to the Catholic Church because we're people of life, not death. We're people of light, not darkness. We're people of giving, not getting. We're people of joy and not meanness. And if we can do that, we'll convert the world. Thanks. Thanks, Pastor Arnold. All right. Thank you so much for these encouraging words. And I hope for you young people here, it's really an encouragement that you with us together, like the Apostle Paul says, that we take on the arm of, of God to fight against the darts of Satan that, that come at us from all sides. Amen.